This lovely boat, I'm going to enjoy showing you this. I'm calling her Leighton Buzzard. She doesn't actually have a name at the moment. She's new, effectively, um, but she's at Leighton Buzzard or in that area, so that's what we're calling her. The shell's a 2013 Pinder, but the owner's been fitting her out since she was built, and uh, she is as new, really. 14 hours on the engine clock, pristine paintwork, pristine inside and out. That pram hood's superb condition and she is like a new boat really she's 63 feet long 11 feet wide so you've got all the comfort of a wide beam without the 14 feet additional width that makes cruising a bit difficult in my opinion anyway under there is the barrashire 75 horsepower engine squeaky clean in that engine room good sized stern deck here six feet eight inches long ten inches long i measured that there's the view through the windscreen, and down into the boat we go. She's beautifully fitted out, all in oak, and she's reverse style, so into the kitchen we go. The galley's 12 feet long, huge space in here. It's a lovely layout. We'll look at the oven in a bit. Just on the right here, as you come down the steps, is the electric cupboard. There's a 3.5 kilowatt inverter in here, a galvanic isolator, the guts for the Hurricane Central heating system. The storage under those steps as well, by the way. There's a cupboard there, there's a full-size oven there, that's a cable, gas oven, microwave above it, and another storage cupboard, uh, cupboard over there. Next to that is the four burner gas hob and a bank of three very good sized drawers underneath it. There are bits and pieces in the cupboards and drawers on the boat at the moment, but there we go, that's what they're for, I suppose. Lovely Belfast sink. These worktops, solid oak. Absolutely beautiful. The, the boat is fitted out in oak, I think I mentioned that. Beautiful sink, cupboards underneath. And there's an integral 12 volt fridge. That's an inlander. And a large cupboard next to that. You'll notice no, no ice box in the fridge. There's a reason for that. We'll see that in a bit. So there's a view down the galley. Lovely space. There's a dining table on the left. And swinging round, head height on the boat, I ought to mention, is 6 feet 10 inches. It's huge. Massive saloon. 14 feet 10 inches long. There's a sofa bed there. That sofa's super comfy, actually. Turns into a bed. All open plan in here, so there's plenty of room for extra furniture, another sofa, dining table, chairs, whatever you like, really. And a beautiful Morso squirrel stove inset there under an oak mantelpiece. Cupboards next to that. Love the fireplace. There are three radiators on board and a towel rail. They're fired by a Hurricane diesel-fired central heating system. The space on this boat is phenomenal, really. It's a, it's a beautiful floating home. Corridor on the port side. Just over seven, seven and a half feet long, this corridor. There's the freezer. That's why there was no ice box in the fridge. There's an integral freezer there. That's 12 volt as well. Cupboards under here. There's a further cupboard here, which is designed really for a washing machine. There's plumbing and power local to that very easily installed that's where you'd probably put your washing machine and the door here leads into the bathroom this is such a lovely room quadrant shower it's set up on a pedestal the shower and the loo there you can probably see that loo's a composting loop heated towel rail and a lovely ceramic countertop sink over a rather substantial bank of cupboards Storage is key on boats, and um, this bathroom's got plenty of it. There we go. The bathroom itself is seven and a half feet long. Lovely space, very light and airy. All the lighting on the boat, by the way, is LED. Mirror's a bit confusing, isn't it? There we go. Out we go. 12 volt sockets everywhere on this boat. I counted 22 of them, but I probably missed a few. Into the master bedroom. 
nearly 12 feet long this. There's a large dressing table stroke desk with nine drawers down the port side here. The bed is a king size, six and a half feet long, five feet wide, and it's storage under, and it's got um, these gas struts under. Lifts up with one hand, there we go. And that box you see under there is part of the toilet system. That collects the liquids and the solids you deal with separately. That's part of boating for you. Very easy to install a pump out in this boat, by the way, if that's your preference. There are three double wardrobes in this room. Storage is king. This is one. There's also bedside lockers, you probably noticed that either side. Next to this wardrobe is a floor to ceiling shelving cupboard. Drawers over there I've mentioned. And then either side of the doors onto the well deck is another double wardrobe. All fitted out in oak, very nicely done. Everything's soft clothes. And there we go. Onto the well deck. You can see the paint right there, that's how good it is. This forward hatch is just a locker storage locker. There's an anchor and rope in there. The water tank, 650 litres. Huge water tank is under the well and under this well deck itself. There's a Brita water filter system on board as well. And either side of the well deck there, there are the, the brackets for bench seats. The bench seats just haven't been put on yet. So another walk back through. Hot water is heated by the engine and the central heating system. There's three domestic batteries on board, one starter and two huge bow thruster batteries. There's a bow, yeah, I didn't mention a bow thruster. And uh, there's a galvanic isolator on board as well as landline hookup point for 230 volts. I want to mention she was last blacked in October 2018, and at that time she had four coats of epoxy two pack put on, so that's not going to be doing for years. That's Leighton Buzzard. She's effectively a new boat. She's in lovely condition and nothing to do but move your stuff on and go. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the prize, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.